Hi, Duncan from 6.5 here. Now, if you're running your own dedicated VPN server and you're running on OpenVPN, you can check out our other video on how to go set that up if you're not even using it. The reason you'd use your own dedicated VPN server is so that you have a particular IP address that is known to you all the time. Many public VPN services do not give you a dedicated IP address, which means you can't get added to, say, a corporate firewall, for example. So when you go to set up your computer or your device with OpenVPN, the first thing you'll do is go to the admin site for that VPN and you're gonna go log in. Now I'm just logging in with the default details here, the initial admin, and I'm just logging into the homepage of the site. Now what you'll find here is that you'll get a screen that shows you uh, the various clients that you can use on your device. And obviously it will uh, recommend the one you've got up top. So I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna give me that Mac download. So I'm gonna click on that and download it. And the second thing I'm gonna do is also download the connection profile, okay? So this is my profile for, um, for my use with my username and password. So I'm gonna click on that as well, because we're gonna need both of those things in a second. So let's first of all um, install the client, the software and you're gonna to need to enter your computer password for this. Off we go, only takes a sec, it's not very big. And again, you can see from the list of devices here, there's one for iOS, there's one for Android as well, so you can easily do this on your iPhone or uh, uh, Android device, your mobile device. All right, grand, so now that's started. Let's uh, open up the software. So I'm just gonna click Open VPN, Open VPN Connect, and that's gonna start up the tool. We're gonna get a couple uh, bits and pieces of information that we can or not read through. Uh, you can read through those when you get to it, um, but it's actually fairly straightforward. So I'm just gonna agree to the terms and conditions. There's a little updates pop up. And I'm not gonna use URL because I downloaded it already. What I'm gonna do is take the file that I've got down here and I'm gonna upload it into there. So I'm just going to go show and finder. And then I'm going to drag my profile VPN from my downloads folder. And I'm then going to uh, click on connect. Now in doing so, I've got to uh, add my password for my user. And all of a sudden, there you go, you can see I'm connected and you can see the um, in and out that's happening with regards to my um, IP address, okay? And let's just see what's happened there. There we go, what is my IP address? So at the moment I can see that it's uh, the 67 IP address. If I now turn off the VPN and I refresh, you can now see my IP address is different. Um, now that's the cool thing about this, it's gonna give you a static IP for when you are um, on the VPN and that makes it much easier to deal with okay, say corporate firewalls or um, you know other bits of software that require a, a static IP for security reasons. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe below and we'll see you in the next video.